With every spray, my fragrance says, here I come, bae, here I come. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love when my fragrance show up for me. When my perfumes, my combinations, when they show up and show out. And how do they do that? When I get compliments. Yes, guys. When complete strangers or even my family members compliment me. People that I know compliment me. Co-workers compliment me on the fragrances that I'm wearing. And they don't even, they're like, I never smelled that before. I absolutely love it. So here are the fragrances that I wore this past week and some of my combinations. Let's get started. Rose Milano by Armani. This is from their Armani Privé collection. Launched in 2020, perfumers behind Rose Milano are Marie Solomon and Daphne Bouget. Categorized as a shipper floral, this is a fragrance that on my skin comes across a little dry. If you will, think about a blush wine that has a dry tempered appearance. And that's how I get this rose. It's not too sticky, it's not too sweet. There are indeed fruity elements. You've got an opening of pear, bergamot, and lemon. Then you've got jasmine and rose in the middle, and then the base, the moss, and the patchouli. And the patchouli isn't too heavy or too earthy either. Now I paired this with La Col Noir by Christian Dior when I wore it. I normally get compliments when I wear La Col Noir by itself, but when I paired it, with this Armani fragrance, more compliments kept rolling in. The reason I chose to lay a Le Col Noir with the Armani fragrance is because there is more fruits, more flowers in here, and a little bit more going on. So there's honey in the base notes. There's also a little bit more amber wood in there. So I felt that it would be a good pairing to pull the sweetness out of the Armani fragrance. I did not stop there though. I actually took it a step forward and I pulled in another favorite of mine. Yes, you see it there to the right. I pulled in Kama Sutra by Skin Potions. Now, this is a fragrance oil that enhances any fragrance fragrance you layer it with and I mean any fragrance you layer it with oh my gosh this was so good this combination I tell you I could still smell it all day long but every time I pass by people was like who's that smelling good is that you is that you I was enjoying it totally another fragrance that I chose to go ahead and layer and it's a banger of a combination is Amherst Femme by Maison Francis Kirk Jean this is the EDP and not the extra version I found Amherst Femme very easy to wear it's a purple flower fragrance it's got iris it's a little balsamic and then you have notes of bright citrus at the top of course you've got the iris in the middle and then you've got the musky elements in the base I really like this fragrance by itself but I thought that it amped up quite a bit when I layered it again with Camel to revitalize the body oil this is such a fantastic oil if you can get your hands on it i highly recommend you pick it up because any fragrance that has florals in it particularly rose florals pink florals tuberose florals you'll enjoy it this combo i got compliments all day long I was really surprised by this fragrance when I unboxed it. I did an Instagram and YouTube live and I unboxed this decant that I purchased. I tried it. I really liked it on my skin. It smelled really great. But then when it came to actually wearing the fragrance, I was underwhelmed. So this is Subtle Orange 10 by Kriegler. And guys, it smells nice and it does project. I just can't smell it. How I know it does project is because everyone else around me was telling me how I smelled nice. And it wasn't like, oh my God, you smell wonderful. It was just, I smelled nice. So I know that it projects. Another fragrance, well, it's not really a fragrance, it's an oil that projects, is this. Oh my gosh, this says, here I come, babe, here I come. That is the message that this fragrance oil gives sol de janeiro's bum bum body for mesa oil it is gorgeous on the skin it has a really nutty vibe very tropical you can wear this all times of the year but i get beach vibes with this this is not sticky at all on the skin either now i paired it with leisure in paradise by simone andrioli and this is a very good fragrance to pair with it because it's holiday in a bottle okay i would go as far as to say that sol de janeiro's bum bum body for mesa oil and leisure in paradise is a match made in tropical holiday heaven point blank period now, i give credit where credit is due and if you did not know the person responsible for bringing leisure and paradise to the mainstream in everybody's mouth and in everybody's collection is miss fumi monet give her a round of applause Fumi is 1000% about Leisure in Paradise being a vacation scent, and she takes it on her <laughs> vacations. She shows that in all of her reels. Now, this has coconut, papaya, pineapple, vanilla, and nuts, and 
guess what? It blends perfectly with Bum Bum Body for Mensa Oil by Sol de Janeiro. If you have these two, combine them together, wear them together, and your experience will be three mm. folds, four folds, five folds. As a matter of fact, people around you are going to be like, honey, what you want? Here I come. What you want? You'd be at the store. They, they, you can't even pull out your credit card fast enough. They're going to be like, here I come, here I come, here I come. <laughs> That's the effect I was getting in my mind, not to mention the fact that I did have several people come up to me and tell me how well I was smelling, including in the movie theater. Somebody walked past me and they, they doubled back and said, oh my God, you're smelling really good. Now, another combination with this body oil you got to try is K. Alley's. This is Eden Juicy Apple. Oh my God, guys. I tell you, I was just I was just killing it this week. I was killing it. You hear me? Kali Eden Juicy Apple. I layered it on top of the Fermenza Body Oil by Sol de Janeiro, as I just described. But I also wore it by myself, by itself. Not by myself. Well, technically, it is by myself. But I wore it, bottom line, and I got tons of compliments Whoa. that day. And when I told them what I was wearing, guess what? People were freaking shocked. <laughs> they were shocked. And I kind of like seeing the shock look on their face because a lot of people write off Kayali's fragrances. I did not buy Eden Juicy Apple immediately when it hit the shelves, but I purchased it afterwards. And I'm so glad I have it in my collection because it's a fragrance that's easy to layer with other fragrances, particularly Vanilla 28, as well as you do Utopia fragrance, the one that has the coconut in it. If you have any Kayali fragrances in your collection, my I highly, I highly recommend that you start layering them with each other that's where the magic truly happens let me know in the comments again if you have this fragrance or if you've tried it the next perfume i'm going to talk about you should already know how i feel about it yes if you follow me if you subscribe to me if you've seen any if you hear me talk about house of siage you know that i love this fragrance so very much this is benevolence by the house of siage absolutely outstanding fragrance it had the people going here i come here i come what would you like would you like some coffee would you like some tea would you like some champagne well the person who asked me that i was a no they shouldn't have asked me that i don't know why they asked me that that was out of pocket they know i'm married <laughs> All jokes aside, I was getting compliments with this fragrance and I was just really pleased about it because it's one of my favorite fragrances in my entire collection. Let me know if you have benevolence. When you look at this bottle of Mancera's Vanille Exclusive out of my collection, you're going to say, she talking out the side of her face. She don't even wear that fragrance. Look at that. There's no dent. I'm here to tell you that's absolutely not true. Okay? I said what I said. Yes, I said it. <laughs> atomizer just happens to be really good when you look at the notes and the accords of vanilla exclusive by mancera you will see that it's a beautifully composed fragrance there is no if ands or buts about it if you like vanilla but you don't like that cloying aspect vanilla exclusive is one you really ought to get your nose on especially if you like more of a green tangy type vanilla let me know in the comments if you've ever smelled it or if you're planning on picking it up all right, my dears, time to get serious with y'all. All bets are off. It is time. It is time to pull out the vanilla, the compliment getter, the lovely biscuit, the lemon Whoa. pound cake, the whatever you want to call her. Time to pull out Lira from Zerjoff. <laughs> oh, guys, I, I don't know what to say other than this fragrance is one of my favorite fragrances in my collection. I know a lot of people talk about dupes for this fragrance or fragrances that smell similar to it. But at the time when I purchased Lyra and I paid full price for it, it was the only fragrance that smelled the way it smelled. Point blank, period. There are other fragrances now that have come out. I'm not going to mention them. But others, you know, they have their preference. And you're entitled to have your preference just like I'm entitled to have mine. It's my opinion! Um, well, okay. Anyways, Lyra smells yummy. It smells like a lemon pound cake mixed with a little bit of licorice. And that's because of all the accords and notes you see there. There's a lot of citrus and caramel and whatnot. But I really love this fragrance. If you have Lyra and you have another fragrance that smells very similar to it or you think better, please drop the name of that fragrance down in the comments so I could at least sample it. So I layered Lyra with Mango Skin by Wilhelm Parfumery. And oh my gosh, guys, mind blowing, mind blowing. Absolutely absolutely loved this fragrance combination. I was really happy that I did it. I was like ecstatic. You know, it gave me like happy vibes. I was cheesing from air to air. I was smiling and then I was being told I smelled really good. I had people in the popcorn line telling me I smelled really good. I smelled yummy. I smell like something they want to eat. So I was all good with all of that and a bag of chips. 
No, I didn't get a bag of chips. I, I got some um, chicken fingers or something. I don't remember what I ate. Bottom line is we were at the movies and I was getting complimented. As you can see, I got tons of compliments from the fragrance selections that I created and I enjoyed it. Now, if you are new here to the channel, my name is Pamela and I talk about all things common sense and luxury with a concentration in fragrance. If you find yourself liking what's on my channel, you pop over on my page and you see all these videos here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Make sure you hit that like button and share my channel and my content so that others would see that I have so much fun stuff for y'all to watch and enjoy enjoy and it's quite educational i might say at least i think so <laughs> anyways check out my channel check out what i got going on and let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed today's video if you're enjoying what you're seeing so far and if you have advice on how i can make it better much more beneficial to you or for you please let me know down in the comments i love constructive criticism i find myself growing from that additionally if you have any questions about what i talked about today the fragrances i shared today please be sure to let me know down in the comments comments. I would love to hear from you because I love communicating with you guys. Until the next time, my dear, please take care of yourself and each other, and I will definitely see you in the next video. Bye!